Hi guys, Bleach here. How's it going? Not sure how to see the comments on here. I think they just pop up right on the screen. Uh, a friend gave me uh, a phone, a really good phone, better than what I had. And I got this hooked up to the house internet. It was it was their old phone. They regifted it to me because they upgraded rather than a uh, traded. And I got this hooked up to my house phone. Hopefully it doesn't uh, uh, affect my uh, data. But um, I can see the it seems to come in good. I can see the <laughs> I need to paint my room someday and, and see little old post putties on the wall from old posters I had and and see where the that used to hang there where I had my uh, Randy Savage photo. But hopefully, hopefully, this is good. I don't have to have it, like, standing up. I can have it normal. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay tonight. I figure I talk with you guys for a minute. This is pretty cool. It comes in really well. I'm really happy. But, um, yeah. This is a decent uh, phone. So, I'm watching American Pickers, basically, guys. I think I'm going to shut off the light in a minute and see how this does. And, uh, maybe it'll come in better, or maybe it won't. Well, you can see my, uh, uh, Buffalo Bills. I just set it up like that. You can see my, uh, Buffalo Bills, uh, sweatshirt, basically, guys. And, uh, Randy Savage bat there. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I might be getting another snapper. I'm trying to get my hands on one. Um, my mother might buy me one for Christmas. We're trying to have the uh, a guy uh, deliver one. Uh, he's, I think he's too far away. I didn't realize, we didn't realize how far he went, was away. My uh, mom emailed him, basically, guys. I can just put the phone like that and talk to you guys. I think. Yeah, really so cool. But um, I hope some people come on here. I'm not sure how long I'm going to do this for, guys. I don't like where it's set. And I don't like that. I don't have a, a phone stand yet. Um, so uh, basically, my uh, mom's friend gave us this phone. Me and my mother are going to share it. And sadly, I have it most of the time when she needs to use it. She hates me for it. But um, it's it's a great phone. It's a great phone, as you can see. I can, I I come in a lot better, really. I got freaking quaff in my hair, little poof. Um, not sure what the joke about. There's nothing really happening on the TV. I mean, I'm not watching the anime. Um, this is kind of out of my element. This phone, I'm not used to it. But it does have a, a good camera on there, which is pretty awesome. Let's see what we got here. Do we got soda somewhere? Oh, yes, we do. We got a A&W. How awesome. Look how good the label, the A&W, comes in. Pretty awesome. It's really nice Christmas stuff. Um, The iPad, too, should come next week. I, I may use this more than the iPad, I think. I, may, I think I'm just going to use this for live. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Since it's coming in good. And, and I hope this thing's got sound. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me. I'll have to rewatch it. Because it's different than the uh, the uh, YouTube lives like on your laptop. So hopefully we got sound. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Amazon taking over the world. God, they're making fun of Amazon pretty bad on uh on um south park guys it was pretty hilarious you had like the mall the people that used to work at the mall they're like zombies working working at the uh the amazon factory or something how's it going stamper more man how does this thing look it's uh samsung d7v or something i think yeah d7 or j7v not d i got d on the brain i don't know why d d d, d. Yeah, it does look good. It, it's a phone from 2015, so this will work. I may use this to go live out in the yard with the lawnmowers and stuff. I have no idea how I would 
what kind of stand I would use or anything. You can see the, the remnants of old poster potty on the wall. How you doing? How's your off? You can free and flew to write me. You can join me on this hangout if you want. I have no idea how to do that. Um, I don't know if you've ever done that before. How are your uh, stampers doing? Do you still have them? Uh, do you, uh, stamper do you still have that, uh, what is it, a Yamaha scooter or something you had, or a Honda? I don't know if you still have that. Yeah, people don't normally join me on these lives. I don't know if they want to or not. You still have it all, that's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to get a hold of another stamper. My mother might get me one for Christmas. I think maybe one the the like uh, uh, flip or something. But still, it's technically it's for Christmas. It's gonna be a good project. I still got that big one in the garage. I think what uh happened with that is the uh, brakes were too tight on it. That's why I wasn't moving the grass. Plus the grass probably wasn't helping the rubber disc any. And then that snowblower is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna. I didn't want to say what I was doing with it, but I was gonna say because who knows when I'll get to it. Is I other things to do around here besides work on stuff. I don't have much time to work on the the, the projects in the garage lately, and it's cold here, and I want to split that snowblower apart and find out exactly where that spring goes I broke. And what is really stupid is that spring that I didn't realize what it was from, and I tried cobbling up to uh, fix it. And that spring was from the back of the transmission that I took off on the other snapper that like moves it back and forth and I tried hooking it to the snowblower so I broke a, a snapper part I needed or could have used on another one not realizing about that I probably could be still used for that but um I don't know so that part's only like seven bucks on eBay free shipping so it's not a bad thing uh they're uh I might get some stamper parts on eBay. I'm trying to source them. I don't really want to see what they are because someone else might get them. But Pickers is pretty good. I, I kind of feel bad about Pickers because it looks like Frank and Mike kind of look like they're ripping off these old people even though they're teaching the history of the item, I tell ya. Let's see if you can get this better so you can see my face. But Yeah, it's cold here. I got a sweatshirt on. Freezing. Draft the old house. They're talking about those old uh, bicycle things. Yeah, those stampers are pretty fun. They have snowblowers on them up in Canada. Are you dizzy? Uh, I don't know if you watch him. He. It's 52 here. Yeah, it's gonna be 45 Friday here. Luckily, it's so cold at night. Um, you dizzy up in Canada. He he gave one away. It's one of his buds. He had a. Up in Canada, we don't have them here, but they have snowblower attachments to those rear engine snappers, which is kind of interesting. And I never saw any books about them. The books I have, like the manuals, I uh, only see the uh, snow plows, which is interesting. Yeah, like a snowblower attachment to a rear engine snapper. Yeah, I think the rare. I think they only had them in Canada because you think Canada gets more snow. It ran. It had like a special deck attachment too. It ran off of. They got those uh, tandem bikes. You're talking about those old tandem bikes. That uh, it makes my back look hurt, hurt, hurt. Looking at it, basically, like those big wheel bikes falling off one of those. I would be able to move ever again. I'd be like paralyzed, man. I would move from the bike to a wheelchair. I'd be an improvement. I'm terrible. Yeah, a lot of people fall off of them. They said and died, like they're cursed. Oh, he said the bike is haunted. You hear that? Isn't it funny? Funny. It's got some pretty interesting handlebars on it. 
I wonder if my house is haunted lately because my uh, my dog was just barking at nothing one night. I don't know. I'm barking at the winds. You know, my area, they got uh, gas now for 99 cents. I couldn't believe it. It was uh, it's really Taco Bell. It's the only place you can get gas for ninety nine cents. That's an old joke. It's been retailed for years. I've seen it on Facebook. It's not mine. You think about it, it's kind of funny. Go to through the Taco Bell drive through, get like ninety nine cents of uh tacos or something. I went to Wendy's today. They were really nice. They don't have the dollar menu anymore. It's moved to a dollar fifty nine. Ordered a bacon junior cheeseburger with a medium fries, and they gave me a, a McDonald's light cheeseburger with no bacon on it. They couldn't even tell me the prices of the food. Also, I think it was an elderly lady at the drive-thru. I think she was in her sixties. She's probably working because she had to sadly didn't know what was going on and really not used to the job she's probably new <laughs> as they had fries they had fries at wendy's there was a promotion any size fries to 99 cents and they didn't say anything and i, I wanted some bacon on there bacon's expensive it really is i think it's like five to ten dollars a pack where i am for good bacon and and they couldn't take the time and take two little pieces of microwave bacon and put it on the sandwich. Although I did like the hamburger the way it was. and It was tiny. I mean, in the 80s, the burgers were like this and they go on like this. And there's no where's the beef anymore. There's like, what happened to the beef? Oh, good. They got the lead paint toys at the Walmart. I just watched on the news uh, that Walmart's being sued for selling lead paint toys. I'm not kidding. Target, too, from imports from China. Kids are getting sick. And then there's a thing that I saw on the news, like the, the nightly news. There's uh, bomb threats happening, too, guys. Like people are de demanding Bitcoin or something. Oh, there goes the phone. My dog kicked it. But yeah, Bitcoin or something. Bitcoin, uh, what is worrisome is what if Bitcoin takes over as a currency. That'd be stupid. But uh, I see people on YouTube, I won't mention who they are because I just want to, because I just don't want to, I just don't want to say their name because they might want to keep it private, but they got like uh, towers like with the Bitcoin currency on them, like with hard drives basically. Yeah, yeah. You might know about Bitcoin, too. You're all up on that. I don't know much about it. I even know there could be a phone where you can turn it sideways. And I mean, we got a phone at Walmart, $50 with mobile. We're paying 35 a month. I'll tell you the story. I tried to see if I could. I didn't know that you can't use phones with, like, other operating systems. Time Warner. I thought Time Warner could use this phone with Time Warner, but apparently not. They were going to send us a Samsung Galaxy 8 phone. And uh, I canceled it because I did this with Verizon. Oh, we got another one. Why will? What do I want? I'm not sure. I don't know what I want. But uh, Time Warner is not very good. They didn't tell me there was a restocking fee when I canceled it last night. And then my mom called about it in the morning. So, oh, you have to pay $50. For a, a stocking fee for fucking phone from cr Crime Warner or Spetships, whatever it is. And Spectrum's kind of illegal a bit, even though I won't say why. But I have both their internet and um, their uh, TV, and now I have a Verizon phone. And uh, yeah, $50 restocking fee. But they're a monopoly. Verizon's a monopoly. But those satellite companies aren't. A monopoly. I often wondered if Time Warner owns has money in those satellite companies because you go watch their on demand services like online or and sometimes a satellite dish commercial comes up right right off there. Yeah, AT and T's pretty good. They from I heard good stuff about them. So 
people told me that Verizon is expensive, but it's it's forty dollars a month for a prepaid card. We we paid for two months basically because they said it'd be quicker to activate the phone if we gave them another forty dollars. Bullshit story that probably was, but uh, uh, it's, it's Verizon's great. I don't think I'm gonna get Verizon TV or anything. Is I'm just used to Time Warner. Um, it'll just be stupid. But it's all right. I have friends that have Verizon phones. They have Time Warner because the Time Warner was cheaper. Or Crime Warner. Pickers is getting all set. Um, uh, Mike's happier than a pig and shit. He's got that uh, big wheels bike there. Yeah. I don't know. My back hurts lately. I was screaming and pain putting that oven together in that video. I really didn't want to show that. That was kind of bad. My oven really wasn't really that was clean before that happened, and it, it exploded. The uh, the element and uh, plumbing party party powder just went all over the oven. Basically, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what it was. It, it, it's just amazing the way things work. Like, and I tell my friends that I fixed it. Like, oh, how do you know what broke? And I'm like, well, there's a mess in the oven, and there's party powder all over the oven. <laughs> I heard, I never heard that slang before. Party powder. I, I heard it called booger sugar and other stuff. There's all sorts of fun things to call it that. And, and then they had like DeLoreans and. Delor John DeLorean got in trouble for that. I don't know how it went. I think he was selling cocaine, basically, the fun, his cars or something. I forget how that went. But they used those in Back to the Future, which is like the best movie. This phone's great, though. I used to have a lot of pro wrestling posters and stuff on the wall years ago there's like ticky tacky things and the only thing that really remains of wrestling is randy savage i'm not going to take him down he was cool sad what happened to randy savage he had a heart attack while driving and crashed into a telephone pole sad that can happen you can actually have a heart attack while driving it's stressful driving there's assholes all around you stretch out my damn legs but yeah, I, I don't drive that well either. We, I don't know if you've seen our new van in the videos, but uh, I backed over one of the snappers with it. I haven't drove it since, and I got my permit. <laughs> so it was... Uh, Vince McMahon bought WCW. I don't know if you knew that. They had the Monday Night Wars. They had Shane McMahon on WCW and Vincent Mann on WWF. I, I used to have that, that on tape. You could probably watch it on YouTube. Yeah, Vincent Mann bought uh, the rights to WCW. The, the McMahons own it. But the only wrestling promotions that I see that are still around are uh, Ring of Honor and uh, TNA Wrestling. I think it stands for Total Nonstop Action or something. Woman own, a woman owns TNA. I forget what her name is. I hardly watch wrestling anymore, but uh, I do watch it on YouTube, like uh, clips and stuff. You know, Stone Cold Steve Austin has a channel on there. He's pretty funny. Yeah. And what was weird about the Ultimate Warrior's death is he was on Raw, and then the next day he died. It's like he came out to say goodbye to the fans and he knew he was going to die. And I don't know what happened, what, what the autopsy results were. I never heard anything, but it, may, it might have been a heart attack or pills. And people, uh, a joke and stuff, and say the Illuminati killed him or something. But I don't think the Illuminati really kills anybody. They, they use you, you make you rich, and maybe if they do kill you off, you disappear to the Illuminati headquarters and... Fantasy Island, I don't know. That's probably where Prince and Michael Jackson are. They're probably at the Illuminati headquarters just hanging out and stuff and promoting new uh, music stars. I don't know. Who knows? People used to think they would see Elvis all the time when he died in the toilet in the 70s. I just lost my second viewer when I said talked about the Illuminati. Hopefully Stanford Moore man's still here. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with that Illuminati conspiracy theory. Who knows? I, I joke with people telling me the Illuminati and stuff, and 
Yeah, who knows? But Pickers is just a great show, I tell you. I just love seeing these old barns and stuff filled with junkie. If I had the money, like if I won the lottery, I'd probably buy like an old farmhouse and then a mansion and just have a lot of odd, odd junk and collect it. Oh, you're modding your computer? You still mod those Nintendos and stuff? Uh. Guy turned 60. Yeah. You don't know what I'm going to say. It's one of those things. Um, my mind is kind of speeded up because I'm bipolar. And I can think of jokes like really, really fast, faster than I can say think say stuff and stuff and my friends are surprised by it and then there's like i think a lot of music people are and creative people are like bipolar or something because they let's look like look at eminem i mean he's in the guinness book of records for saying the most words in under a minute i think he did like 300 or something and, and he wrote a song he's friends with the voices inside of his head I think he did it with Rihanna or something. And you think about it, he, what if he like hears voices in his head and that's what that is, that, that rapping ability, but uh, who knows? There's three reasons I bought this sign. One, it's great for an entry-level collector. Two, if I can find the guy with the... And I know Demi Lovato, she's bipolar. I think Britney has it. Because Britney lost her mind, shaved her head bald. I think she was just stressed out. People said she did it because of drugs. She didn't know, wanted her to know what drugs she was on, but who knows? I think she just wanted to disappear. I mean, if I was famous, I didn't want to do concerts anymore, or and I was a girl, I'd shave my head bald just to disappear, too. Miley Cyrus is perfectly fine, but she's crazy. It's kind of sad what she did. Because there's a lot of little girls that were into her. And Miley just grew up too fast. She kind of took it to the gutter. Miley Cyrus has a good, lot of good songs. So like Space Boots and stuff. I do listen to Miley Cyrus's music. But the thing about it is her concerts are just really outrageous. Even more than Lady Gaga really. The, she's got like midgets dancing and stuff. And... You know those furry things? Those furry things at her concert, too. That the furries is basically, um, like, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, uh a kink, like, with, like a sexual kink with some people. They dress up in costumes and do stuff with each other. I was watching. I wouldn't recommend this show to anybody. And I do like it. It's called Happy. It's on Netflix. I think it was on the Sci-Fi Channel at one point. It's kind of a Christmas story. It's it's very dark. It's really sick. I can't think of his name, but the guy that played Stabler on Law and Order's in it. The guy that was also in Oz. And it's got Pat Aswalt in it. That comedian that was on uh, King of Queens. That short, chubby guy. And uh, he uh, voices the unicorn in it. The little flying unicorn. It's outrageous. It's funny. And uh, Stabler there is like a hitman. And he's perfect for the part. He does really well in it. And um, he's basically trying to save his daughter from this evil uh, Santa Claus. And there's all these crime syndicates in it. And it's just, it's bizarre. Oh, I love the SU view, the old Lauder Special Victims Unit. I got kind of fed up with it because most of it was like rape crimes and it just got sad watching it. It's just too emotional watching. Even if they are actors, it's too emotional because it was based on real events. I love all those crime shows. Lately, I watch like the Oxygen Channel. I still watch Dateline. I like that guy. I can't think of his name, but that old guy is like, oh, no. And they made fun of him on Saturday Night Live. It was so funny. They're like, then what happened? Oh, no. Tell me more. This is funny. Not This is funny how they make fun of him on Saturday Night Live. You know, if you... Uh, I, I'm not sure if you're a Trump supporter, but you know if you Google, like, Donald Trump, uh, or not the word idiot, Donald Trump's name comes up now. It's like, for some reason. This holiday season, families near you need your help. 
Morgan Freeman. Nasty is live again. Yes, Nasty's back. Is that you? That was on. Uh, that was that was that you? That was on the. I can't didn't see your name. Yeah, this is my new phone. Basically, here I'll be using this for the lives. Hey, Gypsy, how's it going? Oh, the snap guy. Yes, Nasty's here. That's my nickname. Talk about freaking girls going down on a pizza cross. It, it's not delivery. It's why is that girl doing that? <laughs> Well, yeah, a friend regifted this phone to me. I guess I'll be using this. It's a Samsung, uh, what is it? DV, no, JV7 or something. It's not, or J7V. Yeah, it's a phone camera. It's a Samsung. The phone's from 2015, but it's better than a laptop. It's better than the phone I had. It doesn't have fingerprint technology on it or anything. So I guess I'll be using this. It's one of my mother's friends sent us the phone, and sadly, me and my, my mother and I are going to share the phone. Like, why not? I don't have a big family. It's, I don't have any other family besides my mother, unless I uh, go fiddle sticks and crank out some grandkids or something someday. I tell that to people, and they're like, well... You're about 40 now, aren't you getting to the point that, uh, something's not gonna be working there? And I'm like, shit, look at, uh, look at Letterman, he's in his frickin' 60s and he's still having kids. And, uh, John Stamos has had his first kid and he's in his 50s. <laughs> I do talk to girls, but they're taken. Every girl I ever meet is attached to somebody and I'm just friends with them. It's hard finding people. It's like a, it's a freaking small town that's surrounded with other small towns. I would have to, to go to like to uh, New York City or something. And freaking Mondays today, they they cheated me out of my bacon on my sandwich. They're just too lazy to put it on my hamburger. Oh, Tinder, that thing that Quagmire was using on Family Guy. No. I don't know much about Tinder. How far am I from New York City? I'd say five to six hours, maybe ten. I'm 45 minutes from the Syracuse Orange Men. I mean, I could go there and watch them if I wanted to. I think they're redoing the dome. Yeah. I, the, the furthest I ever drove was... Uh, where was it? Cleveland. Where is Cleveland? I can't think. Cleveland is in Ohio, right? Yeah, I drove there to uh, pick up a dog once. Yeah. We drove by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was pretty cool. And what was funny is we met the people in the black section of Cleveland, like this really... Uh, bad area. The, the people are nice, though. The black people, I know. One of them was like, "Do you do you have any uh the gas, the, the money for us for gas?" I'm like, "I don't know." They saw they thought we were rich. They thought we were actually from New York City because of the plates. They thought we had money. Um, but we weren't. And the guy that ran the gas station says, how do you know this is Noah's gas station? Because we were white. We're not, they don't see many white people in that area. And, um, oh, I found you through our Google Maps, basically. He's like, oh, oh I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because people can use Google Maps. And now I knew that he could do that, get more business at his gas station. This was probably like 10 years ago, though. I mean, everything's different now. That was probably before, I think that was even before Facebook. And, uh, what's funny about Facebook is it's probably used to keep tabs on us. Did I just lose all my uh, my viewers? Oh, they're still there. It just flashed for some reason. Yeah. I thought of an app. You know how like guys like to send uh, penis pics to girls? Now, my app is basically you put the cell phone in the pocket... The flash takes a picture of your pocket, and basically, judging by the size of your pants in your pocket, 
you don't need to send the pic. You can just get a brief idea of what's going on there. And <laughs> I'm terrible, I tell you. And the, 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 it would flash, too. You see, now seriously, actually, I had friends, like, with their phones take pictures of their pockets or stuff. And then the old days, we'd have, like, the flip phone or something. You hit the wrong button, it would take a picture of your ear, and then it would touch your ear to people instead of your penis. <laughs> Gotta be politically correct, you can't say the D word. I'll find Dick. Dick. Dick Grayson, like, uh, Robin. One of the oldest jokes I learned when I was little is why can't Batman go fishing? It's Robin eat all the worms. Yeah, I am pretty nasty with my jokes. I heard worse. There's worse people that tell jokes than I do. There is a fire truck at the Walmart today. I was like, oh, is someone making meth in the bathroom? And at the Walmart again, I saw one of the yell at to the, the guy in the fire truck, but he had the window up because it's winter times. <laughs> I just lost my third viewer. He's like, what is this shit? You might see my dog's foot coming across the screen, too. This is pretty cool. I like this. I got this connected to my uh, internet at my house, my Time Warner, so it shouldn't uh, affect my data. I don't have any snacks, I'm sorry. I uh, I just finished uh, what was left of my uh, a and W root beer soda from dinner. I did eat hamburgers at 8 o'clock. I was going to talk to my, uh, my deaf friend. I don't mean to call her that, but I just don't want to say her name on YouTube, probably because I just want to keep that part of my life private. Uh, she was having problems with her phone or something. I, I shouldn't even say that, but... Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, phones are funny. You, you, uh, one thing I will say, you got to be careful with your phone. Is you can download stuff that says it's apps, but it's not apps. It's going to, like, broken shit that can fuck up your phone, basically. And I didn't know this either. I'm just learning as I'm going along what she's telling me about her phone. And, and you know, you, when you trade in your phone, you should wipe it. Because there's something about it on the news. Like this girl traded her phone and then it wound up in, in a foreign country. I think it was like India or something. And this guy had her phones and all her pictures and information. She's like, oh, you're really cute. I like you. And he was kept calling her repeatedly, non-stop. And, um, it was horrible for her. It was something about her on, uh, the, the NBC News, the 630 News. And then I didn't know this. They actually have, uh, shredders for your phone. Like, uh, a big shredder that you can just put your phone through to protect your information. But, um, this phone that I got regifted, it's safe. So, yeah, I don't know if I can go live in the dark, which I like to do. I'm going to try it in a minute. I don't know how to shut the camera off on this either. I'm going to take you along with me. I'm not sure the camera is on there. What the hell? How did I get hair on my finger? That's very unnatural. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Hopefully, hopefully it will work. I got one like so far. I don't know if it's gonna work really good. And you can see up my nose. Ow, my legs hurt, damn. I just wanna see if I can go live. Yeah, some nasty, I'm sorry. Well, you can't see me. So let's try to figure out something to light my way. There should be a flashlight on this, but that's not gonna work. Hmm, let me open up my laptop, see how that does. It's night time, it's spooky times. Let's open up the laptop, see if that'll work. Otherwise, I'm going to turn the damn light back on. Alright. Oh, my laptop, that's not going to work. Okay, you can see me somewhat. That's, that's going to work, that'll totally work. I can just... Use the light of the laptop when I go live at night. 
Or I can get like uh, a flashlight or something. Not really a flashlight, but um. Veto. All right. Veto. You realize that Windows 10 has you put in a freaking pin number, isn't that silly? Please. All right, I think that'll work. You can't see me all that well, but you can see some. Look, he says you gotta see this. Oh yeah, let's, let's go to the white screen on Google. That might help too. So let's do that. As I know that helps when they do. Uh, there we go, the white screen on Google. Yep, that really lit me up better. That's perfect. I can just do that. It looks like we're having a campfire. I got a flashlight on my, my head and I'm going to tell ghost stories. Did you ever hear about the, the the girl and the guy in the bushes by the fire? And he was in her bushes putting out her fire in her crotch? <laughs> <laughs> it was fire hose. That's so awful. <laughs> All right, I'll do the boom voice. Yes, yeah, no profanity. We can't talk about fireman hoses. Who wants you to buy Spectrum? Buy phone. Get fifty dollar restocking fee. Get ripped off. Oh my God! You get seventy percent off a mattress. Man, that's. I wonder if people give mattresses out for Christmas. Well, I can't see that joke. It's too bad. Um. Hey, hey, honey, you want to have a baby? I got you a new mattress for Christmas. What I do today, um, God, what I do today? I set up the new phone today, basically, at the Verizon store. I went to Walmart, I bought a Verizon card, I set it up there. I uh, helped Ray set up this this Christmas decoration thing one of the neighbors bought. bought. He also has it. It's like a, a thing where it has slides and it shines lights on your house. It's pretty cool. I wanted to play a trick on him and put the Halloween uh, slide in instead of, or the Easter one. Instead, I don't know, I don't want to say where I work. I, I have, I get disability words, basically, is how uh, Pug Life would call it, disability words. That's another story. But, I get disability words because of the bipolar and the terrible jokes. <laughs> it's lonely in my brain and all I have is my jokes. But, um... Um, aliens pay me my funds. <laughs> I, I, I make tin foil hats for the aliens and they pay me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I make, I make money here and there in lawnmower parts. I, 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 I'm not rich, I'm not poor, but I have enough money to get by. Mid middle class or middle ass middle jack ass you can see my buffalo bills shirt a bit that's cool I, lo I would love to go to a swap meet just buy a bunch of junk and resell it early early prostitution that was one of my jokes on uh, Sushi Boy and Hemi I was peeing in the bush, uh, the the character was peeing in the bushes, and he's like, um, he's like, no, the alien's like, no, 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 we don't need any semen sample from you. <laughs> Judging by the way you're, you're, uh, peeing in the bushes and not standing up correctly and nearly falling over, we don't want one of those semen samples from you. I, I think there is aliens, but why do they want to stick stuff up our ass? And the anal probing and stuff. Why, do they, why, why would possess them to do that? What are they going to find out about us by sticking stuff up our asses? Are they, like, trying to give us, like, a colonoscopy or something? Alien, well, aliens could be gay. I mean, I don't think they have a sexual organ, some of them, although some might. There's nothing wrong with being gay and sticking stuff up your ass. 
I mean, it doesn't matter who you love. Or just, you're still a good person. I mean, I don't... I honestly don't think God judges gay people because it happens on Earth and there'd be, like, lightning striking down or something. And what I find terrible is, like, hate crime on people, basically, because they're different, rather if they're black, Mexican, or Donald Trump, I'm kidding, but, um, or, uh, like, gay or something. There's so many hate crimes, and people... Sadly, people that are gay feel compelled to kill themselves because they're different and they can't deal with it. This is horrible. Oh my god, you should see this tracker on pick. Just love it. You know what's great about phones now? I never knew this. The new, the better phones, they, 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 when you like charge them and you're using them, it'll not charge the phones if it's not overheating. Like, and it's exploding, because those phones were, like, exploding on airplanes and stuff, and, uh, those damn, uh, vape pen, too, th those, uh, vape pens were exploding, too, like, in people's pockets and nearly blowing their balls off, and that's not really worth it, having a phone or a vape, uh, robot dick, uh, vape pen, uh, blowing your dick off just to get some, uh, e-juice into your system, you don't even know what's in that shit, sadly. God. Well, it's not a tractor, it's an old fire engine. I can't see that good, I'm blind as a bat. I, I don't know if I can show that to you. I just don't want to show my room too much. I just can see that. Let's see here. See it there? Isn't it cool? That's what my TV looks like. Big old 40 inch Walmart budget bill TV. Yeah, I just had to ring the siren. Yeah, he's not going to sell that. Yeah, we should all stream together one day. I don't know if Gypsy would be interested in coming on here someday. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. I should try that. Get as much people as I can in here. I should get a PlayStation free. Or free. PlayStation free. Three. I, I'm thinking of three. I can't think of the four. M numbers aren't too good in my brain right now. <laughs> I've been actually looking up stuff about numerology lately and angel numbers. Lately, I see the, like, sometimes like 11, 11, or 12, 12, and the main number I see is like 753. Like, I always see it on my watch, and it's usually when I'm just getting done with stuff at night, and it's about when I'm either going to talk to a friend on the phone or, like, on, like, vid chat or just wind down for the night or something and watch TV. And I looked it up, it's basically uh means like uh basically means I don't have a Snapchat, I have no idea how to use that. I do have a Facebook though. Look me up, Mike Bleach Baldwin. You might be able to find it on my uh YouTube. Some of my Facebook uh YouTubers are on my Facebook like uh Stamper Mower Man is and stuff. I don't want to say his name. You might want to keep it private. Uh, oh, my God. They're dipping wax on the booze bottles. That's a good job. What do you do for a living? I put the wax on the booze bottles. Do they let you drink the booze? No. Do they let you take the samples home? Yes. They give me a shot glass every day, and they cover it in, in wax over the shot glass so I can't drink it because I'm an alcoholic. AA wanted to torment me, made me work at the booze factory, putting the wax on the bottles. I can think of a joke out of anything. It's a curse. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, I, 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 they got like Green Mountain Coffee there. I, I think the uh, coffee filters are probably made out of cocaine because the coffee beans come from Colombia. I just got my ancestry DNA results. I thought about doing that that ancestry stuff like I don't know how I would do it give him my blood or something oh oh you're a quarter a third asshole and uh, a fourth bastard or something you'd probably tell me it, and, and you're 99% bipolar and you, 
You say shit that you shouldn't say in these lives and try to get a laugh. And you th Elvis could have been an alien, too. You know, in the Men in Black movie, they had a cameo with Michael Jackson. They said he was an alien. There was a show called Black Dynamite. It was a spin-off of a movie that they did. It was on Adult Swim. It was so funny. They made fun of everybody from Richard Pryor to Michael Jackson or something. And then on Robot Chicken, they had, like, uh, Michael Jackson. They had a black Michael Jackson and a white Michael Jackson. <laughs> we can't see your nasty face. Yes, I should have put the Nivea, the Nivea uh, lotion on my face instead of other places. And it would make my uh, face look better. I don't... Oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I have to turn the, the uh, screen on the computer. Everybody has a nasty face. Everybody does. Not everybody. <laughs> Not people in Hollywood. Not, uh, what's her name? Uh, I can't think of her name. The hell's her name? Uh, the one, the girl that was on, that freaking girl that, that was, uh, on, uh, Friends. I can't think of her name. Jennifer Aniston. We can't all look like Jennifer, Jennifer, uh, Jesus, look at my fucking teeth. Holy shit, I look like a monster. That was not very flattering. <laughs> I should have had braces, and he's still going to fix that fucking gap there, bastards. I paid all that money to him um, when I was an adult. <laughs> adult braces. And uh, I, I used to eat girls, like, at their houses, and uh, hairs would get in there and stuff. It wasn't a good thing. I mean, I would wake up in her in her, uh, in her lap, and uh, I would have hair in my mouth. <laughs> Where are you? I'm back here. I am really awful. I'm so sorry. I'm not. So this is a cycle truck frame. This is a frame and fork for a Roadmaster delivery model ten. Yes, I better stop. Oh, you should see this bike out there. It's like uh, like a bike for papers. Oh, you should see all the dusty bits floating all over when they pulled the bike down in pickers. They made these bikes from the late 30s into the mid 40s. This bike was a workhorse. I used to eat shit like I couldn't shouldn't eat with the braces like uh, caramel apples and stuff. God, this looks awful. It looks like I rub coffee grounds all over my teeth. A collector will build this back into a bike. Man, I better hold it away from me. There, that looks better. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston's like fifty, and she still looks like she's in her twenties or thirties. That's not plastic surgery, that's just natural. And look at uh, the kid that plays Sheldon, Jim Parsons, on The Big Bang Theory. Let me read that. <laughs> I forgot about that joke. Leave my, my pants at a girl's house and ask if I can get in her pants. And that was like my science theory, like... Uh, like, how many pants could there be, like, in the world, and how many pants could you get into? You know what I mean? Like, basically, pi times pants times infinity. <laughs> and E equals MC pants. Like, the MC hammer pants. Like, remember those, those parachute pants and stuff? And a guy named Bill Grapevine, uh, an American, tried to make these bikes in if I had the money, I'd get one of those Honda three-wheelers or a Honda thing. There was a Honda motorcycle I wanted to get, and what was shady about it is the guy was supposedly a vintage motorcycle dealer. He was selling it for $100. It was seized, and he didn't have, and he had to go and pick it up, basically. I didn't have anything to put it in her vehicle. I'm certainly not going to cram it to her minivan. Have uh, oil and gas and... uh mouse nest leak all over <laughs> but uh why didn't he fix it sell it for more money if he's like a mechanic there must have been something really wrong with it why he was selling it that he couldn't fix or didn't want to fix i never worked on motorcycles before but they're similar to a lawnmower can't be too hard I did get a moped running when I was about 15 before I even did lawnmowers. I tried working on lawnmowers when I was younger, and there's like no really how to videos or anything. I mean, all there was like a bucks and stuff. You go to the library and get bucks on them. There still is bucks. 
I think I'm gonna build a wall more at a gas can, so I'm gonna see if it's possible. It is, it is. You can pour gas all over your lawn and light it on fire, and then we don't have to mow it anymore. Uh, it'll be a good summer. Don't do that shit. Don't ever do that shit. This is a good live, though. Hopefully, people watch this. I just figure I'd just do a live and test out the camera and stuff. I gotta shave. It's weird. My, my fucking teeth were so fucked up when I was young. I completely wore out the bottom teeth with the top teeth. It can't be helped. It's, it's in the jeans. <laughs> See what I did there? Funny, right? You lose too many subscribers. What did I say? Write that again. I didn't see that comment at the bottom there. Not sure if you guys saw it either. Um, the last comment that was wrong. It, it flashes the comments on the screen. I can't see it fast enough. Uh, I, I, my subscribers go from below a thousand to over a thousand lately. Damn it. Let me, uh, huh. I'll just show you the stamper really quick I was interested in. There's no price, and me and my mother, we made an offer on it. She wanted to get it for me for Christmas. I haven't heard back from the guys too far away, and enforce a habit I want the Facebook. Show you my profile really quick. I don't know if I should show my Facebook on here. See, I'm, I'm just a goof here. I, uh, that's my, uh, Facebook there. I put, like, uh, anime and Illuminati symbol, and, and there's me in a purple pimp hat and a black shirt. All right, that's enough of that. Well, anybody who wants to be my Facebook friend, and I, I think Pug Life, I don't know if you know who he is from Pug Life, he's, God, my face is twitching. What do I fucking do? But, um, one Pug Life is actually friends of the Trailer Park Boys that, uh, have that show on Netflix, and uh, he lets people be on his Facebook, so why not me? And, and as long as you don't post any weird shit on there, like uh, they, uh, people smoking tampons, thinking they're joints or something, or taking too close, or smoking conglucamine, trying to fix their joints, or snoring conglucamine, I'm silly. Uh, someone took a horse and made a motorcycle. I wonder what's going on with those damn Beanie Babies. Those are still worth money. I remember seeing the pickers buying those. All my Facebook descriptions in the videos. Yeah, I should do that. Why did I lose subscribers? Probably because of my potty mouth. I think some of them were women and got offended. I feel bad because I do have a lot of female friends. Some females, uh, God, my eyebrows always do this. I'm going to have a, a friend trim my hair on the weekend and cut my eyebrows short or thin them out. Uh... I think I lost my scar. I am friends with a lot of women, and I try to be nice. Some get my jokes, some don't. I had one girl that, like, asked, why do you give me a hard time? And I'm like, what am I supposed to give you a soft time? And I should not have said that. I, I, I have a problem where I say the first scene that comes to my mind, no filter. And she just couldn't understand why I told her jokes all the time and stuff, and... I don't want to say she was stupid, but, um, it's because I kind of liked her. I wanted to make her happy, make her laugh, and I kind of had a bit of a crush on her, and, yeah. God, what's going on with my face? <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have said that to her. It was so wrong. She didn't laugh, she just kind of like, why? She did laugh at some of my jokes, so. I haven't talked to her in a while. I haven't seen her in a long time. 
So maybe that was a nasty thing going on. I don't Who's know. Over here? Craigslist, what are we looking at? I'm not sure if you call yourself the stamp guy because you saw the stampers on my channel or what. There's one with a bagger uh, like an hour and a half from me for 40 bucks. Well, that's uh, too far away. Uh, I don't want to show where he is. I'm just going to clip it out of there. I saw that one there. I was hoping to get the engines blown in it. And it's not hard finding engines and parts would be good for my other ones. Who did the same channel name as me? Oh, with the stampers, yeah. God, my face. Yeah, they're fun mowers. Easy to work on, easy to use. And I never took it all apart before one of them apart. I basically put one together and built it up, which was that, uh, that, um, what do you call it, that big one I had, the 33-inch one. I was going to have Ray crap scrap the 33-inch one, and then I put it back together with the other transmission I had because the deck was bad. I thought I, I thought the deck was bad, but I looked at it. I think it's that uh, the, the brake on it is needs to be lubricated, and uh, it's messed up, so I'm going to try and take the decks I have. The big deck for the 33 inch is okay, that one works. So I'm gonna take, I got the two decks outside, along with the John Deere deck in front of the garage. I'm gonna build one deck and make a good one. And I can't get the bolts off with my angle grinder, or something. Or actually, I can't get them off the angle grinder. What I'm saying is they won't come off with my impact wrench, so I'm gonna cut them off and just get new bolts and, and build the decks. Hopefully, I make a good deck. I could probably let a few because yeah, the bearings yeah. and stuff are still good in the docks, I believe. I think I got about four snapper docks. And I want to fix the original dock that was on the, 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 my main snapper because it was bigger. And uh, one of these asshole kids thought it would be funny to throw a rock in the yard. And I hit it and it broke the uh, bearing in the deck preventing the belt from turning. Or not the belt, the blade from turning. That bearing's probably replaceable. I could probably do that. Uh, Jim Jackson on YouTube has a, a, a video on how to do it. I'd just rather take apart a scrap deck. These videos don't always help. It's better just to be hands on and see what you're dealing with. And uh, either learn by taking something apart, watch someone else doing it. And I just want to take apart the one deck that I have with the bad weld. The bad weld were so badly welded. I won't say it. One of my neighbors, uh, family members, and uh, it just broke right apart. And uh, my comment doesn't have the right bell on it. It uh, was This is his cow pasture. No way. Here's the What's your fa favorite uh, uh, video? Video right then again. I think it's something put fake something. Fake dog or something. Yeah. Do you mean the, the pissing dog statue I had? I can't. It needs to show the comet. I can't. I don't know why I can't read it fast enough. It's even like that when I read Japanese subtitles on anime, too. I have to rewind it. What is your. You can write your fa my favorite message me and stuff on my uh, uh, email on YouTube. Like, write what my favorite videos are, suggestions. Berkeley. This guy glue all these beads to a car. I don't know why he would do that, but it looks good to me. It's kind of what they call like redneck or outsider art. It looks really cool. San Francisco Museum of Art had an artist soapbox derby. Now, what do you value this at? 
Oh um, God, I forgot I about that. Yeah. The last car I valued was my That's true and about the fake dog in the, the cage and stuff. That was and that was kind of a fake premise. Because I, I heard stories about police getting met, going to people's houses and getting mad and shooting their dogs. Like afraid they're going to get hurt and they shoot the family pet when it's just the dog wagging its tail. And I was talking about police need sensitivity training, basically. And then for their sensitivity training, they can carry a stuffed dog in a cage in their car all day. Oh, that would be... Charlie's witches. It's sad. They shoot um, pit bulls. Pit bulls, some are mean, some aren't. Cops are stupid sometimes. And the stress that the job gets to them and they don't know how to deal. They're human beings too. Cell phones become guns. It's a sad thing. You know what I mean by the cell phone gun. A kid has a cell phone, they think it's a gun. It's stupid. You know what? Uh, Japan guns are illegal. I think only the cops have them, but I don't know the story on that. I know over in Japan, uh, plastic and model guns are a big deal over there, and people collect them based on the guns that are in the anime cartoons. Oh, God, my knee's popping. It hurts. Want to see what my knee looks like? Hey, yeah, it's entertaining, my poor knee. There, you remember the joke when we were little? Say hi to your knee. Hi, knee. You have to put it somewhere. Yeah. That was one of the first jokes we learned as kids, or like, uh, what's the other joke we learned? Knock, knock, who's there? Orange, aren't you sweating? Let it say banana, stuff like that. I remember a terrible one when I was young. How do you spell I cup? I C U P. There's all sorts of terrible things. Terrible bully kids. And I should not say this. I doubt they're going to see it anyways. But these kids watch by my house. They're obviously underage. Got any cigarettes? Oh, do you smoke? I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in groceries into my house. And I got a bad back. And I'm struggling with my groceries. Or... Whatever it was I was bringing in at the time. And, and I'm trying to get the key in the door. I don't know if they were screwing with me or what, but I don't know. I remember the kids on the bus, and I was showing them would take cigarettes from the parents and sell them on the bus to other kids, like loose cigarettes or actual packs. Or they were trying to bum cigarettes for me, thinking I would do it because the other adults in the area are kind of shady and they would give out cigarettes. It, it, it's, the whole thing's just weird. I don't even know who they were. I don't know these kids. I've never really seen them before. It's just weird. What's going on about what secret? I forgot what I said. Oh, I think I was talking about the phone or something. I was getting. I was just trying to be a secret about the phone. Oh, the snowblower. I think there's some kind of thing I was going to buy one and surprise you guys and it happened. I forget what the secret was. I don't remember. I think I lost Snap Guy and the other guy. It's all right. They probably don't go to bed. Uh, what is it? Thursday? I mean, Friday's the last work day. Do you worry about going to the dentist? With the God, I didn't really need to go to the dentist. Look at this. I brushed the shit out of them. I got my peroxide toothpaste and stuff. You ever notice toothpaste don't taste like shit now? It don't taste too good anymore. So you just gotta like get the Hershey brand toothpaste, start brushing your teeth with it. I was. When I made that video about that, uh, with the stuffed animal in the crate, I didn't sleep like a week, and I was totally out of it, but it totally worked. It was funny. See my hand there. Yeah, this phone will work good. You'll see me better. Sort of.
can't really can see the Buffalo Bills thing. I'm gonna watch uh, Netflix about shut this thing down at 12. Maybe Snap Guy wanted to look up my uh, YouTube. Uh, if anyone wants to come on my Facebook, if I don't know who you are, basically message me and write blah blah blah. I seen you on YouTube. Blah blah blah. You're funny. Blah blah blah. Help me talk. Yeah, I'm Democrat. Definitely Democrat. I don't like Trump much. I mean, Trump tries, but he's kind of an idiot. He can't help it. I don't think he's really all that educated, Trump, and he's not a people person. I think other people, he used people to make his money. He didn't do it himself. They have nothing to drink. I think Gypsy left. I'm not sure where he went. I think I got just Love Plus here. Um, It's going to get dark for a minute. I have to get a drink. I ran out of soda. My throat's dry. What kind of hats I like? I don't know. Probably Obama, because I really love that guy. He came to our local YMCA and played basketball with the kids. It was really cool. I didn't go that day, though. I missed him. It was hectic in our little town. He stayed at the Holiday Inn, and no one could really get near the hotel or stay there. They were so worried something bad would happen to him. Um, he was great, though. He was a class act. You got like a frame of him with the kids at the Y when you walk in there. There's like a, a $10 for his membership fee he gave. I'm lighting this with my laptop. Yeah. Sitting here watching American Packers. You might recognize his voice. I'm trying to find stuff I can watch and to pass the time I do the slide that's set. And I get the YouTube bots. Like, if I watch Family Guy or South Park or something, I'll catch that. I'm going to see something really... Hey, that Frank told me to stop talking. Now I'm really losing my mind. I wonder what this looks like. Hmm. Okay, cool. It's coming in garbled a bit. It looks better on my end, but it's coming in garbled. It's coming in garbled a bit. I know, uh, YouTube. Oh, maybe it looks better now. Huh, interesting. Oh, Look what it looks like here, but versus the phone. I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks better on my phone than actually on YouTube. Maybe because I'm in the dark or something. Mm. I'm, obviously, we got Joy Law. Hey, I'm, I'm doing good, Joel. I can't even say your name right. I messed up. I'm going to mute this so I can see the comments better. It'll probably look better when it converts. How are you? Good. Talk to Danny on the phone. Yeah. It'd be easier to tell you what I don't have. Yeah, I It might be slowing down because of my data. I don't know. I don't know. Let me look, see what it looks like at the beginning. Looks fine there. I just want to see if it's like messing up my data or something. That's why it's... Coming in um, slow. Okay, I see why the problem is. Because it doesn't have enough light. So what I'm going to do now is turn on the light so you can see me better. I'm still getting used to this new phone. This much stuff in a suburban household was a little bit out of place. In a good way. 
What's your wife think? I'm not sure who La Please is. Or Plus, La Please. I've got that in the brain. La Plus, um, they're new to me, basically. I put testing out new cameras, so maybe they come in here. Let me, um, hmm. Let's see how it looks. I might end with the. From Malibu to Toronto. Um. Two guys hitchhiking to Canada. Uh, light on. Documented well on these posters. I probably have to do with the live for the light. It may look better when it's converted. I don't know. I just hope it works all right. I like weed. I don't smoke it, but I would. Support legalization, definitely, in this area. I don't know how to stop this, and I gotta pee. Alright, that's better. You might have seen my badly wallpapered room. Let's see how this looks now. So I'll probably just have to do these lives. And look, oh, I see what the problem is. The screen on the... Uh, the screen on the phone is better than what's on the laptop. That's what the problem is. The uh, it can't. The resolution is higher on the phone than what's on my laptop. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, you can see there were walls peeling. I gotta paint this room. I'm gonna probably paint it in the summer. I'm gonna get some time. All right, there we go. It's better. Live in an old house. Fight, fight, fight. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, I got in the fights when I was young. I never threw punches. I always put people in a headlock just to finish the fight. I just wasn't going to deal with it. God. I look better. Yeah, I guess this will work. This phone will work. So. It still comes in. Huh. I don't know if there's like data restriction or what with this phone. It looks really good on the camera. And then it doesn't look good on my laptop, which is interesting. But. It's still better than what I had. It may look uh, different on various devices depending on what you have. Let me see what it says in this laptop. It says HD 720. I guess it's okay. I mean, I don't think, I think it may be the camera. I don't know. My, uh, my YouTube videos come good on this laptop. I guess it's alright. Not as good as my internal camera, but still. I think what's going on, it will probably... Ignore me one more time. I'm sorry, what'd you write? Um, fight, fight, fight. Uh, I'm this shit. I guess it'll be fine. I guess it'll be fine. What is... I'm not sure what ABC is or can be... They used to play that song in grocery stores to get you to buy shit. Freaking Walmart man and their lead paint children toys, I tell ya. God. I guess it's good enough. It comes a little pixelated on my computer. It looks better on the phone. So probably when it converts, it'll probably look better on YouTube. Which should be awesome. So I guess it's fine. I just hope this isn't using my data. Is I, uh, yes, the door that leads to nowhere. Basically, what that door is right there. I don't know if you ever seen uh, Beetlejuice, but there's fucking uh, sandworms out there. Basically, guys, there's sandworms out there. Actually, limited space, small room. Put my bed in front of the door. That's my old closet that I don't really use. And I, and I got a bunch of old shit in that closet, like wrestling programs and stuff. Randy Savage over there. <laughs> and a freaking part where I hit it with a hammer and smashed it years ago, trying to hang up the photo. 
Sadly, Randy Savage passed away, had a heart attack at the wheel, driving his car, and crashed into a pole or something. I think that's what happened. Now it comes in good on my laptop. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I don't know. I, I, there could be a ghost in the closet. I don't know. Maybe I should come in with a closet, guys. Nah, nothing in there. Feed me, Dad. Yes, my son lives in there, my latchkey kid. No I'm kidding. This guy got a lot of lunch boxes and stuff. So cool. I see what's going on. I, I have a theory. I think it will look like if you're watching it on a cell phone versus a laptop, it would look better. It was bought originally at a yard sale, and then um, I bought it from a friend of mine. What has he got, like an old record player? This thing? Oh, look at that. It's the Apollo, and it's got the uh, command module. It's got the limb. Oh, right he's here. got a NASA and model of the Apollo. From cool. The information that I've been able to gather on it. Thanks, it man. Stay in touch. Let me see what you wrote so there. Well, I don't know a whole lot I'll go back to my comments. At a garage sale. No, don't drink bleach. <laughs> the Clorox saga will continue. I'll do this to 12 guys. I call myself bleach based on the anime. Is that another spot up there? That's actually my old racquetball net hanging up there when I used to play racquetball. I wasn't very good at it, but it did help me get some exercise. Get out of here. Yeah, that was a great piece. So what did you pay for it? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. Well, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. I've kind of hung on to it because I felt like... Oh, I see. The Holy Grail of who knows yeah, who's with the Illuminati anymore. It's best not to think about it, Gypsy. Really, I'm not attached to it. Okay. And I would like to see it go to somebody who... I might be with them. I don't know. I experienced some weird shit before I went to the, and I disappeared for a while, wasn't around, and I just can't say. Maybe the Illuminati helped me get straight again and not be sick with my boy Polar, who knows? Who knows? Maybe there's things that happen, like if you're bipolar or something and, and the meds don't help, you have to make them give you the right meds and they can't always help you. You have to help yourself and get where you should be with the meds, basically. I, I got to start going to bed again. I, I, I'm, I get really drowsy during the day. I may be getting four or five hours sleep lately. Um, I was really excited about the phone today. I, uh, I fell into the wall, basically, like, just walking around the house. Uh, not good. I don't know if it's because I was drowsy or my knees and back hurt or what the story is, but it wasn't good. And then I, 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 I this is a real story. I tried to, the, I was bringing in groceries today from the Walmart in the house, and I thought it'd be funny to, the, the curvature in my body. I lift my leg to fart and I fall over too. So I can even do that anymore. I can even turn my side to fart, lift my leg without falling. It's it's not none of them. It's good. None of it's good. I'm getting old. So basically, I would have to just lay in bed and lift my leg to fart. That's what I would have to do. What's wrong with me? And, and you know what song I like to play in the morning, like on my phone when I'm when I have to get ready to. I do my business in the morning. I play Eye of the Tiger in, in the bathroom on my cell phone while I'm going to the bathroom, basically. I should do a Jason Myers Christmas special. It'll be hilarious. You know the mask is on the porch. I may go uh, live Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because I, I may go to a Christmas party. I might not be doing anything. We'll just have to see. He's got some good information. People don't invite me to Christmas parties because every year I just eat all the food as much as I can. And I'm a selfish pig. I eat all the food. and They get mad. They think I'm stoned because I eat too much. They don't understand. And now my appetite is uh, 
different. I don't eat as much. Yeah. I mean, I went to the China buffet. I didn't even much either. It didn't taste too good. It's hard finding good restaurants that serve good food anymore. I mean, it is. It, it costs money to make food, and sometimes they just have to make some part food just to stay in business. This is neat. It looks good now. It looks really good. A little pixelated on my laptop, but good. What do you think it's worth? A little bit better than the camera I have now. Probably about the same. I think it's like a 5 to 8 megapixel camera. God, my glasses are falling off my face, I tell you. See, just rewatching it on my computer, then you can see it there. This is what the live looks like. What I see when I talk to you guys. Over there's the comments. And over there, when on the phone, when you comment with me, they, they pop up on the screen, basically, guys. Okay, so you're respectively between five and seven thousand. Yeah. Hey, man, thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, Robert. My pleasure. Take care. Okay, so I mean, I've been looking at these parts. This must be what he's talking about, the damage. See how it's cracked there? It's got the tape holding it on the back. Uh -huh. That's the piece that he's talking about. He got the I don't know how to shot this thing Just off. Like, I'm going to go to the yes, bathroom. So what I'm going to do is flip the phone upside down, pee, and I'll be right back. Because I can't shut the camera off on this thing, I don't think. Just really private about my house. I'm sorry, plus you'd rather not hear me pee or see me doing this. You know, I would feel better at about five. That would leave me a little bit, you know, I'd be able to get a little money on because he said five to seven. How about 52? I mean, that's a lot of jack, you know what I mean? I got to be able to make a little money out of it. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to go with your gut feeling. Hey, this is a once in a lifetime chance to buy something like this. $200 ain't going to do it. Play for awesome. two. You got it. Very cool, man. Very cool. That's super cool. Yeah, help me put this all Good back for you. Here. When they made the offer of the 5200 I actually, I actually uh, thought that was pretty good, and I thought it was, it's time. It's time. You guys got that? Yeah, we got it. All right. Today was a great pick. I mean, I hit the jackpot. I bought an authentic piece of Space Age history. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll right. tell you what, I have a stuff all the time, but that NASA thing is cool. I love all it. Right. Hopefully do well. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm just going to grab the phone. I'm going to get a drink of the finest Walmart Kool-Aid. Um, there may be a new laptop coming for Christmas. I'm not sure on that. I may go alive on that and see how it is compared to the phone and the iPad too. Um, we got friends in high places. My mother does and us, which is good. Purple shit, I guess, guys. Hope I don't upside down or something. All right, we're we're golden. Uh, this is nice because someday if I like travel or something. Like go somewhere. They can bring it with me, go live. Uh oh. Um. I want to get Rosetta Stone. If I had the money, I'd buy it because I want to learn, like, di try to learn different languages and stuff to communicate with other people. I, I probably could do that because I have a lot of OCD and I probably would focus on a lot of words and stuff. And, the OCD basically helps with jokes and stuff. Is I, I think about a lot of shit and it just repeats in my head. Um, what else? Yeah, I, I thought Rosetta Stone would be free on the. Uh, God, these comments are really delayed. He wrote this, these comments like 10 years, uh, 10 years, 10 minutes ago. I'm just coming up with the phone now. Um, yeah, Rosetta Stone's like $90 a year. I would buy it, but no, I don't see the point. I thought I saw it on the phone. I thought it might be in free, including the plan. I'm like, no, 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 it's not, sadly. I just have a bootleg copy of Rosetta Stone, and sadly, I lost track of it. 
It probably wouldn't even work in the computers I did, do have now if I did have it. I, I used to know how to boot like a lot of stuff and now technology's different. I just don't know how to do it anymore. I really wouldn't want to. It's, it's no fun, really. I don't know if they would let me do a live video at the YMCA pool place. I, I tried uh, videotape in there in the pool before, like me swimming, and they, they came over there and talked to me and said I couldn't do that. Although I do see kids Skyping in the Y live, live uh, the, the Y area. Yeah. Yeah. I could. I know my friend, when I talk to her on video chat, she she talks to me like in grocery stores and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to go live like in a Walmart in a public place, really. Maybe, well, like if you're like vacationing somewhere, like at a hotel or like in an area, but... Like, there's a group of people and stuff, they're not going to want to be on your camera, you don't know who these people are, they get pissed, basically. I, I love the Y, it's great. I don't know where I'd be without that place. Ooh, the shitty Beatles. Beatles is a really awesome band. They did a lot of drugs. Not a... Good, not... Because everybody did that in the 60s. I'm for you guys today. And okay. whatever they did, it like changed their music. And they would like, I think the Beatles honestly like would drop acid and smoke weed. And, and the music would sound different. And they would like re record high basically. A lot of bands did that to bat that I don't know so much anymore now. I'm a little nervous. Is there a specific number of Yeah, I think so. You're going to have to. Yeah, this phone's great though. It's about the same as the other camera. At least it don't have the smudge. He looks like a big version of Frank. This guy. I love the snappers. I'm just gonna keep getting them every year, fixing them and selling them. Those old mowers. Why not? Such a... They're easy to work on. They're really simplified. The only thing I probably couldn't do was take apart the transmission and rebuild it. But someday I will. Someday I will. I love the Beatles. My uncle got me into them at a young age. He had a Les Paul guitar. That, like the one that John Lennon had. I have the case of the Les Paul guitar still in the attic. I used to have the Gibson, uh, the Gibson amplifier to it, which is sad. And I, I traded it for a lawnmower with another guitar I had, which is stupid. I could never play the guitar. I always wanted to learn. I mean, maybe something they do in the future. Stupidly, I don't know if you remember, I did buy a child's guitar with amp for like 30 bucks on, uh, on, uh, eBay. It's hard to play those. Unless you're an experienced musician, because I seen adults playing those guitars and did really well with them. They're like, uh, China guitars. Oh, you should go, yeah. I'm not sure if you do pay for it or what happens. Sometimes you can write people for free. Just be careful what you write, because sometimes they do boot you out of there. I, I've been booted out of those camps before for goofing around, and it's not good. I know on the cams on, uh, I get low on the cams on porn, or, uh, Hamster, ex hamster site, they they, they they boot you out of there. They get mad if you don't pay. So, who knows how it works on Pornhub? I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather just be around people than porn stars with the Sabbath. Sometimes you can't. Schwinn Jaguar, original paint, 
I feel to the right guy. Swin, good old Swin bike there, beautiful bike. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, uh, thanks for responding to the ad. You know what? A lot of people look at them, they never do, so it's cool. That I'm going to end know. this probably about five minutes, guys. Hope you enjoyed this live, guys. Weirdly, it does not look like my mouth is matched up to what I'm saying. I don't know if that's like lag or something. Man, it's just me. Maybe I'm in a different freaking time zone than you guys are. Who knows? This phone's getting hot a bit. Not really, though. Watch it randomly explode in the live in my hand. It, it, it gets tiresome holding it. Oh my god, I got the thumb. It's thumb right over there. That's supposed to be where the camera is. Okay. Huh, I wonder if I can go live upside down. Okay, that's better. No, not near the camera. That's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe just like this. Oh, I see a rotate device. Alright. Oh, I'm upside down, okay. Okay. I appreciate you guys watching me all these years, making you freaking dizzy, turn you up sidewards and stuff. Uh, decent little phone. It was the person's old phone and they gifted it to us when they upgraded rather than trade it in. Makes me happy. Very happy. <laughs> I, if I could find something like a stand to set this phone up on, maybe it could go live and mow the lawn live or something sometime. Maybe. I can. I bet I could build something for the phone. Or what I could do is get like a clamp and clamp it to my. Uh, how would I do that? Let me look at this thing. I don't want to put it directly on the screen, but I think I could take, like, a, maybe a clamp like you would use on a bag of potato chips. Yeah, Gypsy, go leave if you need to connect with somebody. Um, maybe she knows you need to talk to her. Um, maybe I could take a potato chip clamp and clamp it to my camera somehow. Or my phone. Maybe, just maybe. We'll have to see. I had a... A friend that basically, uh, I won't say his name, but uh, he went live with his snapper too on his Facebook. He has snappers, and uh, he went live and his girlfriend taped it and stuff and taped him plus working on his truck and stuff. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. Instead of looking at those naughty sites, I'm going to go to Netflix and just have give myself a break from that and just watch Netflix, basically. The Gypsy was talking about self-love there going to Pornhub and stuff. There's nothing wrong with self-love. Even girls do it, too. But um, sometimes you need to do self-love, like if you're going out on a date or something, so you're just comfortable around the person and not thinking about sex. They can enjoy each other. But this thing, like thinking about doing it whether the entire time you eat the meal, you really don't want to think about that. <laughs> It'd be sad because you're maybe thinking, oh god, I just done something thinking about her numb. I'm eating a steak. Life is silly and coupling is silly and adulting is silly. The whole way things work is just really silly the way life works and it's funny. This technology goes along. Who knows? Who knows if we'll even be married to anybody. I mean, we might marry someone on the internet and share a life with them on a cell phone or something. Who knows? And we would only see them on the cell phone. We would never see them in person. You never know. That's a good song. It's an old song. What is really sad to me is Walmart choosing all these good old songs and making it look like they're... I don't want to say Walmart's a good company, but... Walmart's a monopoly, too. What a monopoly is is basically 
one company that serves everybody, like uh, Spectrum. But they're needing more monopolies in the world, so people have choices of what they want, like for good services, food and stuff. I see a lot of money going to Walmart, I tell ya. Like on food and stuff. I don't... Damn, my uh, voice is getting hoarse from running my mouth, but I don't buy the meat at Walmart. It don't taste good to me. I hear stories like people bringing it back. I even seen YouTube videos where there's like maggots and stuff and the meat since at Walmart you buy. It, I don't think they can help it really. It's I don't know where Walmart gets their meat from. Maybe they cleaned up their act. I don't know, but I I, I go to a place called Wegmans. You guys might have uh, Wegmans is in your area. I know there's like one in Virginia and stuff. That's where I know there's one. And they got good meat. They're safe. I get the bolt pack of hamburger and I cook that and freeze it. I eat a lot of pasta too. I love pierogies. They got a big bag of frozen pierogies. I cook those. or easily take like 10 minutes. Hey, Jenna Booster, Rock, how's it going? Yeah, I'm a big boy. <laughs> I'm a big boy now. I'm on, I'm on uh, YouTube. <laughs> God. Just sitting here watching Packers talking with you guys. I got a, a new phone. I figure I test it out, see how it does good for lives and stuff. Might hear my pets digging around trying to get comfortable. I just love Mike and Frank. I've seen this episode several times where they got the uh, this guy here. You watch these picker episodes several times, you always learn new stuff. I got this both on my laptop. I noticed when I was in the dark it came in pixelated, but it doesn't seem to be now. I just hope this doesn't mess up my data. People told me I should turn off my data, even though I got it connected to the house phone because it will use it up. And then I go to turn the data off. It um, says, oh, you won't be able to receive calls. I'm like, I don't want that. I well, want people to be able to call me. I can't breathe. My throat's getting dry. No, Tom's a great guy. I mean, he's still got that hippie spirit, the kind of sharing spirit. I uh, better go get a drink. I don't know how much longer I'll do this. I'm kind of excited about this phone and amped up. Uh, I want to show too much of my room. It's got to be redone and I got to move some stuff. I got everything from manga books and stuff. Want to see why I call myself bleach? I want to show you too much. What I got here is a little dusty. But, uh, see you there? I got 50 bleach bucks. I even uh, got uh, some in uh, Japanese. It's one of my favorite animes. That's why I started uh, calling myself uh, that, basically. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright. I got him. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Oh. Alright, guys. Say here. Let me see something here. I just want to rewatch what I showed. Oh, there's my books. See, there's my books again. 
my grandma owned the company and she had to sign me for my grandpa for his see my elf toys and stuff <laughs> man you get a really good luck on what my room looks like i'm embarrassed so this house is built like a 1900 it's an old house i own it me and my mother own it nice house i love this house it's a little old and drafty but we uh got a brand new furnace and uh it's warm in my room which is great the album conked out the album was actually from the 60s Everything I sold was hard to let go of, but my wife is really happy that I cleared out some items. How does it feel to It's sad when you have to sell things because you bond with it. It's different when you like buy something to profit off of, but something that's near and dear to your heart. Like even like when you put the lawnmowers together, like I do, it's uh, it's sad. You, you get attached to them when you put them together. Damn, I lost my viewers. Shit. I thought I'd show you my books, guys. I don't know if I ever updated those books where I had the 50. But, uh, yeah. A lot of really old houses in my area. It's an old town. From what my neighbor told me, um, Freemasonry was started here, if you know what that's about. Uh, when they basically found, kind of founded this town and stuff, maybe, where I am. I don't know how true it is, I don't know. I don't even know if you know what really Freemasonry is. You might not know about Freemasonry has to do with the Illuminati, basically. He probably knows, he's not stupid. Uh, he's not up my neighbor's older generation 60s. He's probably not all up to date on the internet and stuff. I, I don't know who's watching him, but I joke and stuff. I say I'm an Illuminati and stuff. And, I don't know. Maybe I am, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? I know sometimes I get to some bad shit with my bipolar, and I know a lot of people help me protect me, so maybe the Illuminati people... Got me straight with my bipolarisms and got me stable and even and normal when I uh, relapsed and got sick, basically. And uh, my uh, stupid doctor reduced my uh, bipolar meds and I relapsed, which wasn't a good idea. And he, I, I, uh, I tell you, I uh, resent him for that and I don't like him that much, but... You have to forgive people and stuff. And I think he, and I think, I think he generally thought it would be all right and didn't know that it would do that. The way it starts is like lack of sleep, and anybody could get sick if you don't sleep. You don't sleep for a week, you're gonna be really out of it and bad. It's not gonna be good. And sad thing is, I maybe get four or five hours sleep. I'm still challenging stuff, and it takes a lot for me to get to sleep. I really have to wind down. I have to like maybe listen to music or watch Netflix or YouTube or stuff. Amazon, I tell ya. I'm gonna work on dusting my room and stuff soon and. You can't really paint in the winter time because there's no ventilation, otherwise I would paint. You're supposed to have windows open when you paint, basically. I mean, technically, you probably could paint because this house is old and drafty, but it probably messed up my ass really bad since I can't open up a window. But maybe with the furnace running hot, it would dry quicker and be fine. I've been here in this house since like 1989 since I was little. And uh, it's, it's been great here. There's some good people here. My watch is going off, trying to tell me to stop doing the live. I set my watch, basically. 
I this the end of live or maybe someone was goofing around the Walmart and said it for me before I uh, bought the thing. I thought it'd be hilarious if someone bought the watch and had them wake them up at midnight or something if they slept. But no, no, no. I I bought the watch and I'm too stupid to take the alarm off there because uh probably also could have happened when I was working in the garage and I hit the alarm with my wrist when I was wrenching on something. And what's really fun is you wrench on something to the point, your uh, bicep cramps up and your whole arm freezes. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced that before, but it's the worst feeling. Because you're not toned enough to do it. This is hard. Although I am strong, I'm just not used to using that muscle, basically. Because it, it was it was a long bolt and it took a lot. Again, it tightened. Frank, you talk to Danny on the phone? How you doing? Here, here's the flyer. I know you, she probably wanted to do that. I forgot what I was doing when I did that. I think what did it was put the, uh, the hubs back on my snapper, basically, guys. I was hoping one of my girlfriends I taught you, not, not really a, a girlfriend, girlfriend, but not really someone that I'm having a relationship with other than platonic would come on the live and do this when they don't think she was really into it, although she does watch these lives and find me funny. She did come on one of the lives, uh, April there. I wish she didn't use her real name on YouTube. It's not really good to use your real name on YouTube, although I do give mine out. And, yeah. People are crazy, I tell you. Stalkers and stuff. I did have... One, maybe five stalkers on YouTube before, and uh, this guy that wanted to talk to me all the time. He just couldn't help, and he just, I don't think he, he was mentally challenged, and he just couldn't help, and he just really needed someone to talk to to get through the day, basically, and I, and I talked to him and tried to be friendly, and it just got out of hand. And then, I don't want to say much, but I, I haven't heard from him. I don't know what happened to him, but it's worrisome. I, he still talked to me up to the time, and then he just, I still talked to him. We come on the lives still, and uh, he just disappeared. I didn't hear from him anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he's like, uh, like in a group home or where he went, sadly. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say else to say. I think I should end it. But this phone is great. I'm happy with it. It's better than anything I had before. Other than that budget um, build, uh, boost mobile phone I had before. The lady... On the phone, when I called to uh, get my account number so I could switch to Verizon from Bose, she sounded really hot like that, that accent, like that sexy voice. And I don't mean to, to like be discriminated to women or something. I'm just like, wow, I just love your voice. I wanted to tell her. And she seemed kind of sad. She's like, why did you want to switch from a... Uh, uh, from us to boost and I I basically said I'm sorry I want to stay with you guys and I got a Verizon phone and I have to use Verizon because I know you can't use operating systems like if you got a Verizon phone or a boost phone you have to use it with that company because that's the way it's set up their operating system around there I basically told her I'd probably use them in the future if I had to I do like Verizon so far I'm connected to the house internet right now. It should affect my dad as I'm doing this live. I think that's what people uh, do on Facebook when they do those three or four hour lives when women like sell clothes and jewelry and uh, beads and stuff. And <laughs> now you know my secrets. I watch those videos when I get bored and lonely. But it's still fun. It's great the internet. It connects people and stuff. And, and really, you never have to be alone anymore. Uh, like if you got social anxiety and stuff, you can just talk to your friends on the internet if you don't want to leave your house, which is good. That, that's what's great about it. And uh, Mark uh, Zuckerberg had a great idea with Facebook. 
you know, okay, you even on the Back to the Future movie, they, they knew we would eventually have video phones and talk like this to people on the phone. And it's great. And you have family that are far away and say if your husband or wife, they, they travel for their job and get on planes, you can still talk to them. And when you miss them, you still see them. And like you say, if you're, uh, like if you're in the hospital or sick or something, you can... Shit, you can talk to your family and stuff before you go into surgery, or and there's even been cases where people uh videotape their births, which I don't know why you want to and put it on Facebook, which is I don't know why. I don't. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I think they more into the baby photos and actually showing the birth, but I don't know. No, they they actually do do that. I'm wrong. Is I, I watched a, I actually watched a birth before on uh, Facebook. They did it. They were careful not to show the woman's area too much, and I was curious. I think it was in like uh, Mexico or something. I was watching, and it randomly came up on the Facebook lives, and they, like given a birth into a birthing pool basically because it's kinder than the babe for the baby basically. Because the baby's in water in the in the mother's stomach, and it's just kinder for the baby to come out in water. And from when I hear stories, babies can actually swim underwater, even when they're young. I wouldn't try it, but because they're in the the mother's womb, basically, they don't want to go underwater and breathe. I, I I think people told me that before. I don't know if it's true. I wouldn't try it. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend being a fucking asshole either and shaking your baby when it stopped crying. When it stopped crying, I mean, it's just sad. Oh my god, they got like snow jobs on there. I'm not sure if this is a new one or what, but they got snow on American Pickers. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure who's watching me or who's uh not saying anything, but thanks, man, for watching me and sticking with me. Could be Gypsy or someone else. I normally do these live Saturday, but I was just uh, excited about the phone. Sorry I'm holding it slanted like this. It's just hard to... I should hold it like that so you can see me better. But, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I got a goofy face. I got a... Uh, teeth that braces couldn't quite fix and I do the best I fucking can I tell you. I'm in desperate need of a higher haircut. I need my eyebrows thinned out because they're growing freaking bushy because I keep cutting them and shaving them and having people do it for me like barbers or friends. They look like caterpillars or something. Friends joke with me. They say I look like Spock. Like, well, he had fry eyebrows. Actually, not friends. It was my, uh, telling the truth, it was, uh, where I got it from, it was my, uh, guy that gives me the bipolar medicine. He's like, he's like, oh, oh, you, you look like, uh, Spock. You better thin the, shave those things or thin them out. And he kind of irks me the wrong way. I, I, I don't. I, I, I don't know about him. I don't think he knows what he's doing really, but he tries with me and other people. I, I just oh, I try to open up to him and talk to him about trying to learn American Sign Language. I have this uh, friend that's uh, deaf, and, I, and she's a woman. I talk to her and stuff, and I just try to talk to her and tell her, like, I'm doing good. I have someone to talk to. And his reasoning, the first thing out of his mouth is... Are you sexually active with her? He's like uh, Indian or Muslim descent or something. Accent. I'm like, and I just like blank fucking stare at my face. I'm like, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Nothing's going to happen. We're friends. And she has a boyfriend. Nothing's going to happen. I probably shouldn't be talking about this stuff, but it, it's my life. And my life's a freaking movie. I mean, look at this. I'm making a... A movie right now and it, it, it's why would he even say that 
like what business of it is his even if it was happening and it's not going to happen and it's just good to be friends to people kind to people and uh it is possible to be friends with girls and nothing happening and sometimes feelings do develop but you just gotta be careful not to act I love these old trucks they got them pickers are just beautiful I tell ya god they even look good with the snow on them which is awesome even doctors can be assholes I tell ya I had one doctor tell me my feet stink when I went to his office. I'm like, I, I washed my damn feet. What do you expect? Shit. I'm not walking around barefoot and cow shit, for God's sakes. Although, I don't know if that's like somebody's fetish or something, walking around in cow shit. I just lost my two subs. I'm just trying to be funny here. I'm talking about my life and... I reveal it a little too much, but it's just kind of off-putting, like, God. I try to open up, I try to talk to people, and they just take me the wrong way sometimes, or take anybody, for that matter, in the wrong way. <sighs> and I can think of these jokes just like that, and it's, it's kind of off-putting to people, they don't get it. I do have social anxiety. I do have trouble talking to people sometimes, so I tell jokes, and it's the way I always did that. I would make friends selling jokes. And they love me for it. The ones that stayed. Oh, I just love the rotted floor they got in this trailer. Do you have a title for it? No Oh, it's an Airstream. No wonder they want to buy it. I think this is the episode where they did buy the Airstream, and then I think like a month down the road they sold it to somebody. There's nothing wrong with being bipolar. I mean, no one's perfect. No one's. Everybody's fucked up in their own beautiful way. Not even our president's perfect. He's a freaking whack job. And he has control of the United States, which is sad. I know there's something wrong with him. I know the way Trump thinks. It, it, it's just sad. He goes on Twitter like a teenage girl and vents like people actually want to see it. And it's stuff he writes that he should keep to himself. And with the internet, everything's out in the open. You just got to be careful what you say. And I really do want to learn American Sign Language. I think it would benefit me, and I think it would benefit anybody. And it's probably the the sign language is probably the easiest language to learn because it's not really talking all it is is like gestures and stuff and I, I would do some right now it's kind of hard holding the phone maybe I can do something here I learned something today I was watching a video like this basically means spider um you do, you do like this that means the sun um this means moon. There's some stuff I was watching today while I was waiting for my mother. I was in the lobby at the Y. I was just watching silent, which I forgot most of it. Um, th I know this is help. Like this. With this. I think you go like this. This is help. Or maybe up like that. I forget. I think this is help. Like if you need help or something. Um, what else do I know? Um, I think this is mother, this is father, I forgot the sign for grandma and grandma, um, this is, wait if I do this right, this is cat, 
I forgot to sign for dog because cat is easier for dog, although I do have dogs. I think you go like this for dog and you hit your leg. There's like two variations of it. Um, let me see what else do I know. I know most of the alphabet, like uh, A, B, C, D, uh, E, I think that's F. I think this is G. I forget most of it. Like this would be H. That would be I. Uh, J. This is K. L. Uh, this is M. N. O. I think like that is P. Uh, I forget how you do Q. This is R. This is S. Uh, no way. This is S. Like that is S. This is T. A U V a W. I forget. I think. Uh, I forget how to do X. I think it's a variation of R or something. Um, like this for Z. Slowly but surely, I'll learn it just to connect with this person. Um. Yeah. How's it going, uh? Julian Chance. I'm doing good. That Mortal Engines movie looks really good. It's kind of like Mad Max, but more like posh and professional. Like actual cities instead of cars. It'll be good. Uh, what else do we got? For Silent Which I know. God, I forget. I forgot most of it. It's just hard because you're you process so, so much shit from the day. You're trying to learn sign language as an adult. The most of these deaf people have been doing it their whole... Well, they, actually, not most of them. They have been doing it their whole life. They learn it since childhood. And from my understanding, it's easier to learn something as a child than an adult because your, your, your brain is smart. I don't want to say smarter, but as a brain is a child, you're absorbing things. You're learning new things. And what is sad about these lives is they have no subs on them, so my deaf friends can't see them. I have one right now, <laughs> but they can't. They can watch them, but they don't know what I'm saying. They probably can read my lips, though. But um, it's just sad. Let me see what else I know. I uh, I know how to spell my name at least. Uh, M I K K like this. I think that's K just like that. No, like that part. And uh, this is E. Now oh, you know my name, guys. <laughs> All right. I, I have to really go over it, really brainstorm. All uh, this, like this, this is. How, how are you? Like that. This is uh, see you later. Or uh, watch me. Like that. Uh, what else? I know some dirty stuff. I'd rather not show it at the moment because I just don't want to because it's just not the way I'm feeling it right now. Like dirty stuff. I will tell you some. Um, I will tell you one at least. Uh, this means bullshit. This is actually the death metal sign. Uh, this backwards means bullshit. I love these old trucks you got on pickers. It's beautiful. Old iron rat rods weren't popular now, and they're they're great now. Yeah. You can see my my uh, book over there with my uh, sh books on there, shelves and stuff. I can't even talk right. Books and shelves. Yes, I have books with shelves on top. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. You can tell how tired I am. I got like, I'll show them one of these days. I think I already did the video. I got basically a Death Note manga. I even got the book uh, in Japanese and a 13, the one about L. I love Death Note. That was one of my favorite things to read. Shit, I read that like 10 years ago. This book's got to be at least 10 years old. Just sit there on the shelf. 
So, I mean, if you're standing here with me, which one would you buy? Mike's got a vintage standard <laughs> hat on. Well, I didn't have a clue that them old cups were worth that much. I knew they were worth some money, but not that much. What do you guys think of both of them? No, I mean, I have to have somebody pick both of them up, haul them out. Yeah. Five and eight? I like five and six. No, because the thing is, I mean, if you think about that one, if you're at eight on that, and it's worth ten when you get it. I don't know what the reason behind Mike and Frank buying these cars are, the, these trucks. These old ones, I don't know if they're piecing them together or making two. So that's 11,000 for both. I have a lot of rechargeable batteries for my camera. If I can reach it, I will show you what camera I use for YouTube. Oh my god. It's basically a Kodak ZX1. It, I think it could go actually up to 780 or not or 720 HD. I'm actually trying to aim it at my computer because I'm used to doing the lives on that. That's what I use for my lives. The uh or my YouTube camera, the uh plastic butt fell off. I did have a ZX5 and it broke when I tried to videotape me swimming with it years ago and inside it had a painting accident. We won't talk about that, but I use I use rechargeable batteries. Some of the ones I did have I lost. When these break I keep buying the same camera. I did have one that broke because the stand fell and it hit the ground when I was making a video. This is not waterproof. You can't take it in the pool. But technically, it's weatherproof. I did have it. I had it in the rain before and it didn't break and also the snow. I mean, it was pouring rain one time when I was uh, making a video. And uh, it, uh, it didn't break. I think I'm going to edit it in a minute. I'm going to brush up on my sign language and watch some uh, YouTube. Or you, the ASL on uh, YouTube and stuff. Then I'm going to uh, watch Happy on Netflix. I thought I, uh, the reasoning behind me learning the, the ASL alphabet is because I wanted to... Uh, I uh, spell jokes out to this person, this that this deaf girl I talked to. And I, just, I don't want to reveal her name. I don't want to say because I just I just want to keep everything private and stuff. And it's it's bad enough. I said what the damn doctor said about uh, it, sexually active or something. Yeah. I'm not gonna break up a relationship. That's against the bro code. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy pickers. It's really nice. My dream vehicle, if I were to have one, probably be like an old Chevy truck, old Dodge, or even a Ford from like maybe the 70s or 60s or even 80s. Anything past that point, I would want nothing to do with. You see that hair? What the hell? What that is? Right in the lens. You know what was hilarious? I don't know if you ever guys ever caught like old black and white videos and stuff. Like the science fiction videos. They would like film and they would have to shoot one take. There'd be like a fly sometimes. They would like fly right across there. When they had the like little rocket ship on it. They would use like fishing line I think. Like to make stuff fly back then. Like the wires and stuff. <coughs> fishing lines existed for years. And fishing lines really clear, you can't see it, but sometimes it, even with the lighting it picks up on the camera. I thought about taking one of my Ninja Turtles and hanging it from fishing line in the garage to ward the mice from building on nests into my tractor collection. That's a joke, but it'd be funny, you'd be watching the video, it'd be floating there and people wouldn't know what was going on. I really wish I knew how to work on cars. I doubt I'll ever come to be. I want to be interested in working on any new cars, though. The thing about it is, it's like different kinds of mechanics. Either you work on everything, you work. There's like three different kinds of mechanics, even for lawnmowers. You work on, there's the one, like a master mechanic that works on everything, cars, motorcycles, 
uh, carpentry, uh, mowers, and then there's certain ones that just do one thing, like what they're interested in, like, um, like say you just like one type of car, you just work on that. Like Musty one, I think he just works on Volkswagens and other stuff and mowers and and uh, then there's like people that work on everything that have a, a shop and they make good money doing it. And so there's some mechanics that do really shit work because they get uh, too much uh, people bringing stuff to their shop and they, they rush. I'm not sure how to end this live. I don't know. I never did a live on this phone. I think it just closed out of it. I think I said enough. I'm going to end it here. I really enjoyed this phone and I probably revealed a little too much about my life. But what can you do? I'm just stating facts like. Like, if you're bipolar or something, you need help. Sometimes it's hard finding the right doctors and right therapists. And even, you, get, you basically sometimes got to play the game just so you can get services and help, even if you don't like who's helping you. But I, I do like the people that are helping me. I try. And you, you can tell, even with me, the bipolar, I'm stable, I'm normal I'm not saying anything too weird even besides the jokes I say and I'm, I'm not saying like um, I'm from a a parallel universe I I come back in time to be the president like silly shit like that stuff like people focus on when they're not well but who knows there, there is a guy called Andrew Doherty I will say I do watch his channel and, and I don't know if there's something wrong with him or he believes this shit, but I kind of am feeding into it. He believes you can like shift realities and get to the reality you want to. Like reality transferring and stuff. I talked to my therapist about it. She's even said that she even had books about it in her office, so it's like common knowledge. It's like creative thinking basically or positive thinking. Like, if you think your life's going to be shit, it's going to be shit. And I watched Space Zeus on uh, YouTube. I don't know if you know who that is. It's like, it helps mold you into a better man and help you get checks and stuff. Not that I'm getting, going out and getting checks just to get laid, but it, it helps boost confidence and stuff. He swears a lot in his videos, and he has, like, promotions. Like, we get percentages off, like, for shirts and stuff. I'm not, by any means promote him or sponsor him. I do like his videos and he has like videos and stuff like how to let, let be sad and be positive and uh, looking at the TV and just be awesome. Basically, I'm going to watch that video tonight. Basically, Basus, how not to be depressed and be positive and be happy. I think it's called something like that. And he knows his shit. He probably let, read a lot of books and stuff and it, his channel is awesome. It's, well, you, you don't really have you can read read stuff if you want to do a good channel but you can also learn from other people on YouTube and just kind of empathize and put it into your uh, videos basically and stuff or repackage it too because a lot of I know it's a lot of the self-help videos on uh, YouTube are repackaged too and they they basically say it on their opinion too do not take severe kidney yeah. My video looks weird. It looks like I'm dropping the phone half the time. Pain while urination? Am I getting yeast infections? That's not a good job or a good pill. I don't even know what I just said. Good job. You're the first man to get a yeast infection. You can work in the uh, bakery now and make donuts. See, I didn't speak a joke on anything. But I'm going to end it here. I think how I end this live, I just close out of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this live. And uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you later. I see Lady Gaga do a lot of a lot. I have no idea what the hell it means. But uh, peace, guys. Uh, see ya. Bye, guys. Love ya. I kind of know what it means, but I don't want to say. But I love you guys. See you next. Bye.